Hi, hello. Welcome back to everyone's favorite Emma Talks Just Enough about her characters in D&D and their relevant backstories. The one shot that I was in recently uh, where I got to role play a Toreador for the very first time on screen is now available to watch on YouTube. A lot of people, when you're rolling for persuasion at the table, just want to rely on, oh, I rolled, I'm gonna put this in VTM terms, I rolled five successes. Um, so we're, we're pretty good here. And they don't wanna role play that? No, 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 let me do it. Let me talk to this person. And I love, um, you get to see, you get to see me as my Toreador dev in the one shot. Do a good bit of that. Okay, Belle's in the Underdark, baby, let's go. I'm so nervous for her. Can you imagine what it's like to be the 50th house of Menzo Baranzan? So, as we talked about previously, um, the first 50 houses are considered noble houses. So everything underneath that is um, a decreasing amount of nobility, right? And so everybody wants to be everybody wants to be in the noble rung right and you can literally wipe out other houses and it'll bump you up in like the rating system and so being the 50th house of benzo baranzan is incredibly precarious everybody's gunning for you all the time which is why I, I put her there because i thought that that would be a lot of fun to be able to role play at the table and then we left menzo baranzan <laughs> But hey, that's kind of the joy of D&D &D games. You kind of never know where you're going. You can just kind of forge ahead with your friends and try to make the best of everything and help people along the way, you know? <gasps> yeah, so much Drow lore today. I feel like half of it's gonna be Bell lore and the other half is gonna be uh, fleshing out the Underdark and whatnot. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to share this with y'all. Okay, so we left baby girl here. We talked to, was his name, Dern, and he gave us a crystal, a memory crystal that we're going to use to go and investigate a place that he was researching. I can't remember the name of right now, but we'll figure it out soon enough. We kind of had to mean mug him a little, but we we're having to channel our Menzo Baranzan drow self right now because even though we're considered redeemed and with Elastra now it's kind of dangerous for us to show our hand like that we're back in the underdark subterfuge matters being cunning conniving cutthroat we don't want to really channel that as much but if we seem too weak or affiliated with the wrong deity I don't know what's gonna happen. So, Belle's playing it safe and uh, pretending like she's here again, that she belongs here. And that's kind of a spooky concept when you're probably recovering from a lot of that trauma. <laughs> All right, look at this big man. Okay, did we get everything? Can I have this mushroom, please? Maybe I need more pockets. My Dragon Age mushroom which is what I read every time I see it. On my way. Okay. Now, there were a few petrified drow here that I cannot help yet. I did make a note last time that we needed to come back for them. Look, we, we may not uh, necessarily vibe with, oh, this guy, vibe with followers of Loth. But there's still people, right? We still have a soft spot for our people. And I don't want them to just be petrified forever. Is it oh that might be worth a look. Can I have this crystal? Oh! That <laughs> that crystal's bigger than our whole torso. <laughs> That was an interesting way to dig. 
Oh, what have I done? Okay, just a small, small treasure glitch. That's fine. Elixir of Arcane Cultivation. Oh my god, we gain an additional spell slot. A small bottle filled to the brim with arcane energy. That's so handy. And then an arrow, acid, gold. Got it. Amazing. Okay, we got another of our of our brethren over here. Poor thing, that spectator, that bargain bin wannabe beholder. He fucked up a lot of their party. Watch how you go. There's a trap. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, we've got a fire amber. Lambent from within, these crystals are as the very progenitors of flame. Very cool for them. Can I? Who's beefy? Shadowheart, are you next? beefier than me? Where was that vending in? You better cut that shit out. All right, look, now we can just proceed normally. I kind of really want to go stand up on this precipice, though. I feel like if I was a game designer and hiding treats, that's what I would do. What I'm just going to gonna take Belle. So I can navigate her around these mushrooms With and haste. nobody follows me. Okay, good. <gasps> I just, I just said, I just said. All right, give me cool stuff. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, I see. Is there stuff down there, maybe? Um, all I hear in my head is, don't split the party right now. <laughs> Alt's giving me nothing. What's down here? What do you want me to see? I mean, it's beautiful, and I love it very much. God. All right, let's get back over here with our group. And we'll go loot this guy. What's in here? Oh, he covered the vent up. Good on him. There's a trap. We got a nice necklace. We don't. Oh, <gasps> alchemist fire! I almost missed that. Thank you very much. All right, so there's a rock there that we can throw. Oh, I didn't get this guy's backpack. <gasps> My, I better be careful not to trigger that thing. Thank you, Gail. Okay, we got our silver necklace, another one, and a hand crossbow. I wonder if I can take this torch. This, I feel like is a terrible idea, but I'm gonna try it anyways. I wish I could put the torch out. Because I want to put it over the vent. Where is the vent? I need Carlet. Vent's right there. Maybe maybe I let Shadowheart do it? She's beefier than me. Muscle mommy. <laughs> Was that on the vent? Got to keep Everybody needs to get out, please. <laughs> Everybody stop standing in the poison. <laughs> backpack, vent. Yeah, the backpack's on top of the vent. How? How has this happened? That's fine. See, he wasn't even... Whatever, Baldur's Gate. Whatever. That's Still okay. Alive, so that's long rest. <gasps> hey. Oh, lovely little pick me up. <laughs> You're welcome, Gail. Okay. A long way to go still. Let me have her throw something, because she's got... Yeah, other shit in her well, no, inventory. Perfect. Now, where's my hand crossbow? I'm gonna I have her grab that. that. And we're good. Let's grab this. Onward in her name. Oh, Can't give pilot up bell. Never wanted to be Just in path. case we have an encounter. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Okay, so how do we even get back to the front of the place that was over there? I'm sure it'll loop around eventually. All for me. I 
it's these auto saves are like your DM going, hey, could you roll a d20 for me? And you're like, why? And they're like, no reason. And you just like start sweating. <laughs> what is this? Is this doesn't look Menzo Baranzani or even Drought Outposty to me? Huh. That looks hot. Okay, let's proceed carefully. Excuse me? Hello? What? What is, what is that? My brain is like, wait, that sounds like a dune worm? What's going on? Okay, how do I help them? How do I help them? So, we've got a Starion who's knocked down. Where's Gale? Okay, they're just knocked down. It looks like I'm safe right here. How do I? Okay, Shadowheart. What's next, I wonder? I want you to help Astarian up. Astarian. What a day. I want you to help Gale up. Okay, now let's use our movement to get off of this rocky central path. Go, go, go. Gail, you too. I venture forth. I'm hoping that maybe it can't get on like the stairs or this thicker rock, but I have no idea. So we're just gonna hope for the best. Work to do. Okay, no time get out die. of the way. Although being by the edge is also really spooky. Okay, Belle, Let's babe. Get going. Wow, the Underdark is absolutely full of spooky critters. And I kind of wouldn't oh, no. rather it any other way. My faith will guide me. All right. Uh, uh, oh! Sir. Sir, you cannot tackle people like that. That's really rude. Okay, so Bell is in combat. Push my luck again. Look at this little lizardy boy. He's kind of cute, even if he has bad manners. Okay, so oh no, spider webs. Oh. Okay. Watch your back. So I need my boy up here. Can you come over here for me, honey? Yes, thank you very much. Okay, everyone's in initiative order now. Bell. I'm gonna move Belle first. Survival is all that matters. So she can get close enough to give him advantage. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Okay, so now Starion. He's got high ground, happy, and advantage. Okay, good. What? He's a beefy little boy! Oh, look at him. He is kinda cute though. He's like a little rock lizard puppy. Okay, uh, he's still gonna chomp us a good bit. So, I'm gonna leave a starion up here. And I won't give in. I'm gonna do one card always Gale be a gentleman. Next. Don't get too close. Okay, I think this is definitely a time. Let's use our big boy magic missiles because I don't wanna die. <laughs> Torment. Two 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 and four damage? Was that what I read? Was that oh. Gale? <laughs> Please. Another fight. Okay, now it's time Let's for baby go. girl. Okay, I'm going to use a lesser spell slot. Oh. Oh. Good. He does really have a nice AC. Um, it makes sense looking at him. He looks like he's made of rock, and I imagine rock is. Uh, Serves well as armor. All right, I'm gonna try to give him the bad touch. Morning. Oh! Bell's like, I am done with this. Good job, baby girl. Okay, I'm gonna give him a flourish too. We tried. <laughs> we tried our best. Maybe I should have used Misty Step instead, because we're about to get fucked up. <laughs> But we gave him a beating. Look at him. 
Yeah. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. All right, how close can I get? Have to keep going. <clears throat> okay, we've got plenty of spell slots. So it's gonna be all right. We don't have advantage anymore unless her body counts for advantage. <laughs> I was like bleeding out and everyone's like, yeah, we fucking did it. I'm like, please, <laughs> please somebody help her. Let me click on a sign. There we go. Um, help her, please. Can you help Belle? What do you mean? Help, help Bellathene before she makes all those throws. Click on the portrait. Oh. <gasps> He gave her a pat on the bottom. Did you see that? He gave her her help pat on her bottom. That's one way to do it, I guess. All right, Belle really needs some healing. Let's move. Um, I've got a few more spell slots, but I also have 26 healing potions, so we might just like throw back a few. I need a close at hand. No, it's not, baby. You're okay. <sighs> hey, there we go. Hey, we got another shovel. Look at this. Um, a blood guzzler garb. Excuse me. A 10 AC. Grievous retribution when an enemy damages a wearer. Oh, the wearer gains wrath for a turn. No sooner does blood speck the armor than it's absorbed. As if sustaining something within. Merlin played a dwarf once. He was some kind of weird amalgamation of this concept. He had like scarification on him, and when he would hurt people, it would like heal him. Also, are we in Ravenloft? What's going on? I don't appreciate it, Strahd. Okay, I don't want your bucket and I don't want your bone, but. Okay, well, I don't want to get rid of the spider webs, nor do I really want to go where there are spider webs. Oh, a chasm creeper? Is this that. just a gemstone? Okay, I'll, I'll take that. Put it in my pocket. See you later, stone puppy. Maybe you should have minded your business. Is it going to be too hot down here? It looks too hot. Can I have these? I can. Wait, I saw you over there in the corner. Okay, there's a waterfall. Is it sad that the first thing my silly little brain thinks of is like, ooh, I should put my uh, Zora armor on and I can go up the waterfall. Okay, okay. We're just going to forge ahead and let our wandering feet take us where they will. Okay. Oh! Oh no! Oh god, that waterfall goes deeper. If it were me. What? 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 Don't! Not Sterian! <laughs> honey, honey. Keep your distance, darling. No, I need That's you to keep. Fine. No, no, no. I need you to keep your distance from those, uh. Have a lot on my shrooms. mind. And, well, in it. So I'm gonna plink. No, 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 no. We're gonna hand crossbow this shit. Ah! Oh, Shadowheart, I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Need to find a way forward. Okay, so. Okay, we're gonna jump onto this outcrop. And then we're gonna jump onto this outcrop. Guys, please be. Oh, he, oh, oh, oh. Okay, wait, hold on. I Hold on, hold on, hold on. We all gotta go back to this one. I gotta destroy this first. Gale, Gale! This is like hurting cats. <laughs> Beautiful, wonderful. Okay, now we can all jump back. Everything's good now. Okay. There's a skeleton. Oh! 
Helmet of Autonomy. Proficiency in wisdom saving throws. The metal bolted to the helmet's forehead is engraved with a faded script. Though the words have become unintelligible, their magic remains. Very cool. Alt does not show me any more secrets, but there are uh, shells. This uh, dude was collecting seashells. Wait, cragged rock? That looks like a death trap. I'm not going down there. 12 seconds later. Wait. The Festering Cove. Are we in a bad pirate movie right now? Hello? Who are you? Who are you? I don't appreciate this. This is some Cthulhu shit. Oh! Look at this! What is this? Kotoa? Alright, I figure we're going to crash this party. Um, I would like to talk to them first. Look at you, you little bud. <laughs> He's like ugly cute, you know what I mean? Look at him. Look at those big hands. He's got some mitts, but we can talk to them. Oh, they're having a time. They're having a time. Okay, I'm going to scout the outer perimeter first. Oh, there's a plate, but I don't need that. Oh, there's so many. So, go like through here? Look at these little buds. Having a time. They're having such a good time. Okay. I'm gonna go around this way. Can I talk to them? I would like to talk to them. Oh, look, you can go down here. Oh, they have a fishing rod! Oh! So cute! Oh, look, they even have... This is so Cthulhu. This is so Cthulhu. Y'all, we manifested earlier by me talking about needing to be better acquainted with Lovecraftian shit. And the game was like, speak and I shall provide. All right, so go behind here. If we can, can I crawl down here without them noticing me? Maybe we should pass without trace. Okay, it looks like we should be fine and we don't have to use the spell. <laughs> okay, so. Do they have a yellow or red outline? I'm not sure. Let's. We're at a really precarious little... They're yellow, so I'm assuming that means a neutral entity and less provoked. You know, like it is in WoW. Okay, so... <gasps> yes, I've played The Sinking City, and I like it a lot. I've played The Sinking City, I've played Call of Cthulhu, I've played Dredge, obviously, because I love Dredge very, very much. Merlin and I love to play um, Call of Cthulhu Lovecraftian-esque video games, so we've played all the ones that we could buy on our PlayStation. <laughs> I love that they have little statues of them. How fucking cute. I don't want to take that their fish. That's in my back. That seems really rude. I'm going to take this crystal that's bigger than me, though. How do you put that in your bag? God, there's so much over here. I don't want to take their fishing roll, fishing rod, because they got to be able to eat. I don't want to take their food from them. Oh, I want that, though. Okay, message in a bottle. Let's grab that. Hmm, what's that? Can I look? Message in a bottle. A grimy old bottle. There seems to be parchment inside. Oh, I got two things. I got the grubby bottle that is now empty and curled paper. A note written in a childish hand. Let's read this. Oh, no. Dad, sorry I stopped writing. We ran out of paper on the road. I got this from the druids. Maybe that's why they're so mad at us. I hope this can find you. 
Zebla says you got lost and that our old house is gone. But I read a book that says all rivers find their way to the Styx. When you get it, you can write me back in Baldur's Gate. Or maybe come visit? I'll write again when I... Oh, no. I ain't getting more paper. It's Donnie. Do y'all remember Donnie? He's the baby that guards their little hideout that you give the password to if that's how you get in there. And he doesn't talk anymore. Oh my god, it sounds like his dad died when uh, everything went to shit in Alterel. Oh, my heart. Poor sweet baby. Now, we can't give this back to him or talk about it because we want him to think that it reached his dad. Oh, what a poor baby. Oh, I'm going to make myself cry. <laughs> what a baby. All right. Let's... Where else can we explore over here? There's a torch? I can get that. I don't feel bad about taking these jemmies. We're having to slog through all this water. Okay. Oh, is this their little treasure hoard? What is the... It I don't know if I want to pilfer their treasure hoard, especially since we are no longer hiding in the shadow. But it looks like there's a chest over there. All right. I wonder if the gods are watching me. Oh, don't say that, baby. Let's I don't know if Elastray would be proud of us. Ooh, more gems. And then some gold. Okay, now. I'm going to leave the gold, but I really want to see what this is. Curse to put my hands on everything. Yes. Once Bull's favor has quickened within one of his beloved murderers, the bliss of his love is nigh indescribable, for he blesses his loyal with a new sensation. A mindless, instinctual, primal sensation that comes from within the bowels. An erotic spasm that washes over the killer in the moment of murder. It is said that in that instant, his divine essence can almost be tasted. Forsake all other hedonisms, acolytes, for nothing can compare until the true ecstasies of murder wash over you, initiates. This scroll contains a prayer you may say after a kill, calling for the Lord's disgrace to find its course in your body. Ball is a, uh, if you, if you didn't gather already, Ball is the, uh, deity of Murder. <laughs> oh, I do want to. I do want to keep that. Okay. Okay. Let's get out of the sun. Cool. They think that's everywhere we can go, based on the map. Okay. I think we should be good to k go see the fish now. Okay, I'm gonna try to talk. I really, really, really hope this is gonna go well. I'm gonna take us out of stealth. Because we're going to try to be really chill about this. Very well. Okay. I'm trying to look at this layout if we do have to start battle. Oh, there's a buddy up there. Okay. So, um... Oh, he 
just climbs up and Bella like S jumps. Hi, can we have a chat, little guy? I need a quick word. Mm. The creature is lost in devotion. He might as well not exist. He's having such a great time! Oh, what is that? <gasps> oh! Did he die and maybe they're having a nice little funeral? Pool drip the zealous. Okay, so I'm gonna leave everyone else up here. Oh, they get a chest. And I'm gonna take Belle. I'm gonna take Belle down to talk. Okay, I'm gonna go try to talk to this man. I've left my party strategically over here in case shit goes sour. Hi, I'm really sorry to interrupt. How blood to fill your oceans. Oh, blessed Poal. Our bones to build your temple in the deep. A wave of pure devotion washes over you. And with every surge, you feel a presence grow in response. Oh, oh. priest, from me says, your god wants proof, wants blood. These beings are Kuatoa, former Mind Flayer slaves that manifest their gods through sheer belief. You! Of murder demands sacrifice. You will be an offering for the great god Baal. You mean Baal? Oh, sweet thing. Do you mean Baal, honey? <laughs> that doesn't that kind of look like a red cap there in the back? Therefore, not not Baal. Unless Baal's a red cap, and I just am very misinformed. I want to know more of what's going on. Ellis, stray guide us. Pretty please. Oh, he oh, oh. Ah. If we can get it max, I don't even still think that's enough. Yeah, shit. <gasps> we do have inspo. Okay. We've got this. Come on. All right, I guess we don't get to know them. Maybe we use one more, you know, just to make room for us to earn. Bell concentrates even harder. <laughs> you got this baby girl, I believe in you. Okay, we are, uh, not destined to know, apparently. Well placed. Blood wants a sacrifice. Blood wants blood. Wait. If it's blood you want, I can make another offer. Oh, what's that then? See, you got meat to spare. What you got for blessed Boal? Woo! You can... <sighs> Normally I would use persuasion because I am super stacked for that. But um, I don't want to murder for this, like, wannabe Boal. <laughs> um, we're definitely going to do the cleric one. Not that we're a goody two-shoes, um, but I don't like either of the other options. I don't feel like Belle is super attached to Elastrae and having to behave a certain way. You know what I mean? The wrath of a far greater god. Let me show you. Gonna break you under my boots. Gonna bathe in your blood. He's just a little guy. Blood. Poor demands blood. Fish people, we could have been chill. We could have been chill. All right, Astarian, darling. 
I'm gonna need you. We have to do this guy first. You're mine. Hey, hello! Sorry, I didn't want to murder you. That is absolutely a red cap. Poor little fishies. Wait, I wonder if we kill Blue All first, if they will kind of like snap out of it? Maybe I should try that first. That would make me happier. I feel kind of bad murdering them. All right. Blue All. Ah! Ha! Well. Okay. Um, are we in opportunity attack range? We are. Of course we are. I'm gonna have to provoke an opportunity attack or I can't cast. So, here we go. On my way. <laughs> okay, I'm so sorry. Okay. You have more hit points. So, let's, uh, let's demolish this man. Torment. That, that works. Okay. So. I wonder if this is worth the cost. It's time for Bellathene. I'm gonna need... I don't think I'm in any opportunity attack. But I might be if I do this. Because I'm gonna be passing through this person's square. We're gonna find out. Oh, well... I love that zoom in. Okay, um, here we go. More. Cool. Um, bonus action was jumping, so we should be good to go. Oh no, now it's time for so many fish people. <laughs> All right, I, I, I hope I'm prepared for this. Ow, please don't hurt my boyfriend. This makes sense, which is definitely why I put us on the far side. You can't, oh, you can. Ooh. Yes, dance, baby girl. Shut up, baby. You gotta end this fast, like. I I need I need this to be done. We've got a little too. Hey, inspiration! All right, so they they all are frightened now. Because we murdered their god. <laughs> okay, so maybe we don't have to kill them? But it says they only have it for two rounds, which leads me to believe that uh, they probably still will try to kill us. <sighs> All right. Behind us. He missed. Wow. <sighs> nice, nice, nice. I speak, they burn. Oh, you know what? You're really not wrong. So I'm gonna save our spell slots. I just wanna do a normal spell. Or we just miss, and that's fine. No choice but to keep going. All right, baby gear. Yeah. Let's finish this guy off. Wait, disadvantage, target's too close. Oh, sorry, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. He's bloodless, like me. Is it still on non-lethal? It, sh it is. Thank you. I'm gonna just try to get rid of this guy. So we just have less, uh... well, never mind. Okay, cool. We ensnared him. Did a little damage. That's what we got for now. Has been murdered. 
Yeah, sorry about that. Wow, she is dancing. Whoa, look at us go. Look at us go. I've got this in my brain like Pokemon. Like, if I use fire, that's going to be like not very effective, but I don't think that's how that works. You only have one hit point. I'm gonna have him offhand you. 55? Hey, hit. Okay. So. Let's. Are you out of range? Must have advantage. Oh, I, I thought he was close enough to Bell. I am clearly mistaken. This guy I can do, but there's no point doing it. So let's, can we just like do this? Let's do our offhand real quick. To get rid of that guy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Nothing Bell move is first, ever easy. and I'm gonna have Bell move right here. So she can give Astari an advantage. Oh, that must mean he's too close. Okay, perfect. We got this one. Nice. Okay. That's all we can do for Starion. No bloom, all doom. Oh! That was really angsty of you, Gail. Um, we do have Witch Bolt. Witch Bolt could one shot somebody. Or not. But that should fire off the next time, so we'll just focus on somebody else. Okay. Still breathing. Time Despite for bell. everything. So we've got plenty of spells left. Let's just do a level one. Provokes attack of opportunity from this guy? Ugh. Really? But I want my witch bolt to go off. We'll be okay. Okay, now but you actually have to use your spell, baby. Morning. Nice job, nice job. Okay, so. Got a few fish people over there. Got a fish person up there. Witch Bolt's gonna take care of that guy next round. And then we've got Pool Drip. Stop that. Where are you going? A. <gasps> Hi, Alex. How are you? <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your community with me. Welcome in. <laughs> so, we're going to let Witch Bolt handle this. We really got to go deal with Pool Drip and with these guys over here. So, let's do that. I, oh, am I going to get opportunity attack? I am. So how about, I'm going to turn us around a little bit. All right, let's fuck this guy up. What are we at? Ooh. 85 sounds good. For sure, and all that shit, you know? Okay. We've got this guy up here. We should probably, should probably head up. Can you get up here? On I go. Okay. Ooh. Okay, that should be good for us to bad touch next time. I think that's the vast majority of our movement. Time for stallion. Okay, so we're gonna let Let's, can we have Witch Bolt go off first? Perfect. Thank you. I just didn't want opportunity attacks. <laughs> so you can also get up here and serve as backup if need be. I think that might be a little close for spell casting, but we'll find out. Let's okay. turn someone inside out. Oh, darling. That's a little much. 
Okay, so let's have. Come on, can't stay idle. Bell, can you get? No, can you dash though? Because if I can get her to dash over there, we can get advantage. Can you dash over here? Yes. Have to keep going. Saying that I give off glamour bard vibes is like the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me today. <laughs> I love that so much. Okay. I, a mobile shot. After using dash, you can make a ranged attack as a bonus action. Well, unfortunately, I don't, I think those are gonna be all at disadvantage now. Hey, it's at 64 though. Let's try it. Oh, well, fuck. <laughs> hey, we yeah, attempted something yeah. cool. All right. Up maneuver them. Ooh, 95. Astarian! All right, Astarian will stand there and look pretty for the rest of his turn. Ah, oh! All right, Shadowheart. So you have 11 hit points. I think we just gotta, like, go big. This is so overkill, but... Shadowheart. Oh, he took fall damage! Okay, this should be fine. All right, Starion. Let's try this again, darling. Thank you. All right, let's go offhand this guy. There. Oh my goodness. Victory's assured. Okay, can I get you to come Pawned and stand right here? Um, how? You've got five points. Yeah, we'll just use a cantrip. Even though I've got spells. You know what? I do have spells. Let's just use a big boy spell. We can't use Melfs. Oh, because it's level two. Got it, got it. We can switch both again. That was fun. Nice. Nice job, Gil. Sometimes the only way out is through. All right, Belle. Bad touch. More. I feel really terrible wiping out these poor little fish people. But uh, I also don't want to die, so. If I don't get my beauty sleep soon, I may just get a tad malcontent. <laughs> Thank you for the warning, Gail. Oh no, okay. We're gonna get our bag so full of stuff. Anything of use? Oh, a fossilized shell. Oh, it's a shield. How cute. A boo -all's arms. Oh my god. Are they little, like, crab pincers? The cut-off pincer of some underdark crustacean seems to magically adhere to a bone shaft, creating a makeshift javelin. Well. Wow. Okay. I feel so bad looting their little bodies. Oh, I'm encumbered now. Shadowfly. Oh, a starfish. I want the starfish. Sorry, buddy. Now, what about pool drip? We've got some more. Oh, that's right. We gotta do this guy. Sickle of Buol. Infused with the inconceivable might of the formidable Buol. I don't want either of those, but I'll take this. All right, so. What does Buol have? 
This man is a red cap. Just saying. A slim fitting silver band decorated with a mint green gemstone, a trembling ring, red onyx. Oh, he didn't have fuck all. I wonder if this is one of um, Auntie Ethel's that found his way down here. We have enough of those. If that's all they've got, then I'm chilling. Oh, the chest. Oh, they put a fish in their chest. They put a fish in it. Oh my God. A dark ring with a sharpened gemstone in its center. This ring is capable of cutting the very flesh it decorates. Cool. That sounds edgy. That sounds like Shadowheart would like that for her goth look. Okay. So. We can go up. Oh, we can go up here. Should mind my step. Mm. Are you sus? Oh. Curious. Y'all. Did it bug? That's sad. Okay. Bullywugs. Swarming toadstool. And a gilded chest. Ooh, a pearl. <gasps> oh, it's ever so slightly pink. We already have a starfish, but I'll take the gold and I'll take that. Okay. I like we have a, we have a starfish like limit. Only one starfish per useful. pack. Thank you. Okay, I want that bullywug. There's another one over there. I wish it was a real bullywug. Not just the little flower. Fungus? I don't know what it is. Okay. Did I get everything? Ooh, I need to level up too. God, this is gonna take me seven years. Oh, we gotta get all the way back down there. Okay. What was that? Hello? We're gonna long rest literally here because I know that we've cleared out here and nothing's gonna attack us. Even though we are kind of uh, taking a little uh, rest uh, near a bunch of dead fish. Kinda gross. Oh, look at that good boy. Yeah. Now, can we pick dinner? Yes. How many potatoes are we gonna have today? <laughs> we have a lot of, oh, bloodless pig meat? Oh no, it's a Starian's ham hock. Oh, we've got some mutton. So let's make a stew. Carrot. All those potatoes. Oh, let's put some wine in there. Gotta have a good wine in there. Ooh, and an onion. Ooh, perfect for the stew. Oh my shit, we've got to have some bread with it. Wait, they have pizza and farin? <laughs> so we need four. Ooh, we could put some mushrooms in there. Hey, look. We're putting mushrooms in the stew. We made a fucking phenomenal. Think like beef bourguignon. Oh, you're right, it is mutton bourguignon. We're having mutton bourguignon. Baby girl. Oh, is it toilet time? <gasps> I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. You haven't been using the parasite's power. You think you don't need it. But things haven't gone as you expected. You hope a druid as powerful as Holsen might be able to remove your tadpole. But he couldn't. 
You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. She is just kind of desperate to smooth things over. And so she's going to be really, really amenable. Alson mentioned that these tadpoles had been modified with magic. Yes. Holsin is correct. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. You were lucky that Holsin knew this. His instincts are right. The parasites were merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. What is the sickness? The absolute aims are not yet clear to me. But its progress towards domination is clear. These parasites are more than illithid spawn. They are vessels for control. Mm -hmm. The infected hear the voice of the absolute and believe it to be a god. That is how the cult of the absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the true souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be mind flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. I do feel like after such a brutal breakup, why are you protecting me? Because I am just like you, and I need an ally. Just like you, I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. Tell me where I can find you. No. It isn't safe. The power I used to protect you. I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can. But sooner or later, I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. <sighs> wow. God, that would fuck her up so bad. To know Jorlin was in a similar position. All right, we'll have to switch up our party. I'm gonna level us up. I'm considering whether or not I want to follow her character sheet because I still have it. Mm, third level spells. Very cool. We're level five now. Cool. So I don't know. Oh, we get something for our race. I was like, why is our race changing? We get darkness. So this doesn't work exactly like I've always envisioned it um, as it's described in Ari Salvatore's books. It's always called like a globe of darkness. And so to me, that's like an actual like sphere and you're like stuck in it instead of like a fog or mist or whatever. All right, let's prepare our spells. Okay, so it took for us revivify, but we've got so many scrolls and that doesn't really happen to us very often. I'm really, is this the Spirit Guardians? That sounds real fucking cool. That sounds super badass. I definitely don't want Crater Destroy Water anymore. And I don't need that anymore. This is good, because I haven't looked at these in so long. 
God, I love Calm Emotions. But Calm Emotions as a game mechanic, like, here in this video game, doesn't work kind of the same way as I always, like, play it out at the table in D&D. So I don't think this is useful for us. Hold person's kind of nice, though. Okay, let's, uh... Let's do those. Nice. Alright. It's time for a Saurian. Oh, what the shit is this? Uncanny dodge. Okay, this is just the Matrix. <laughs> so he doesn't get much at all. Okay, that's fine. Sometimes it be that way. Alright, Shadowheart. Oh, she gets another spell slot? Oh no, it's just level 3 unlocked. So she gets Beacon of Hope and Revivify. So let's change up her spells. So we still need these just in case. Shield of Faith has been useful. I haven't been using Sanctuary, so nor have I been using that. So I'm going to take those out. Um, I do want... Uh, we don't need Speak with Dead because we've got that in a necklace. I want Mass Healing Word. We can give her Spirit Guardians too because it seems really OP. Maybe we'll just take Glyph of Warding to be safe. Okay. All right. Time for Gale. Ooh, two spells. Oh, counter spell. Counter spell is so clutch. I don't know how to use it in this context. I know how to use it at the table. We have to take Fireball, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We have to take Fireball. I want Lightning Bolt. I want to be a bad bitch. Okay, so these are our level two spells. These are our level one spells. I really need to teach him more spells. We'll do that after this. Cool, I did our whole party. First, while I'm thinking about One it. with the weave. Let's look at what he's got. Learn more spells. Cool. We did it. Nice way to check to make sure we've got everything. I have a lot on my mind. She's not going to say and in it? I had another dream. Which, I suppose, means you did as well. Whoever's reaching out to us truly does seem opposed to the absolute, but wants us to embrace the tadpole. Venture right into the heart of the cult. Perhaps we truly have a secret protector. Or we're walking into a trap. We should journey separately for now. I'll look for you here if I need you again. If you're sure. I'm sure. Fine. I'll be here whenever you rediscover your taste in company. Sorry. I had another visit from that dream figure. I take it you did too. It claims that if we infiltrate the heart of the cult that's giving out these parasites, we'll find the answers we're looking for. It gave me another gift too. Just like it did the first time it appeared. Rather generous, if you ask me. Uh, did we get a gift? I don't know if Jorlin gave us a gift other than his presence, you know what I mean? <laughs> Whatever's at the heart of this cult, we have to find it. By any means possible. And while we're at it, we can see how many more of these little worms we can harvest. Now, was there anything else? Baby. <laughs> you can feed on me tonight, if you'd like. I was just wondering when you'd invite me back for a bite. Another visit from the Golden Paladin. It said we'll get the answers we need about the tadpole if we infiltrate the cult. 
I feel like I had to remember that this is Jorlin that she's seeing, and anything that Jorlin says goes, basically. Then let's do it. Indeed. Come on, we're heading out. Hell yes. She's so great. Let's level her up really quick. I'd love to, thanks. All the characters are so great in their individual ways. I really just love them to pieces. All right. Ooh. So we can change our bestial heart if we want to. So we get an extra, oh, yes. And then <laughs> fast movement. We're not wearing heavy armor, so that sounds good. I like the heart that we're using. And then we get, oh, oh we get smite? Wait, 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 wait. I thought only paladins got smite. Oh my god. Oh, bless. That's fucking amazing. She's the best. I need a moment for the two of us. Oh, oh. I've been dreaming of our enigmatic visitor again. She told me our purpose was to take on this cult of the absolute, to infiltrate its ranks and bring it down from the inside. She even offered me greater powers, the result of some manipulation of the tadpole's psionic abilities. Given the magnitude of what we're up against, I see no harm in considering the benefit this offer might afford us. Could be the only way to reach this source in one piece. You're right. We must use every means at our disposal. Even unsavory ones. As existential evils go, the Absolute certainly seems an adversary worth holding in its tracks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Any opportunities for us to indulge our tadpole's capabilities are hardly on the same scale. Trifles, when one considers the bigger picture. I need you to remain in the camp for a while, rather than on the road with me. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. Perhaps we'll travel together again later. I'll be here in the meantime, idling away the hours. You'll be okay, Gail. Another dream. Another order from that dubious visitor. It announced that we will find the answers we seek in the absolute cultist's lair, and offered another generous gift. A persuasive creature. It tempts us with power, expresses its admiration, its adoration. Avert your eyes whenever it appears, and do not avail yourself of this new power, no matter how alluring. You've no idea what damage it could do to us, how far into illithid madness it could drag us. Oh. Interesting. I mean, it would follow that Lazel is a lot more distrustful, because it's making use of literally anything, Mind Flayer. I think the dream figure was right. Follow these cultists, and we find the source of our tadpoles. Yes. The one truth that fell out of its cankered lips. There will come a battle. But it will be one with swords, not mind games born of brain worms. Sorry, Lazel. These dreams linger in my memory do you think that strange figure will come back it is a certainty i had assumed our parasites served a geich elder but i believe they serve a greater master still like an elder brain what were you gonna learn about elder brains elders that doesn't sound like something i want to encounter an elder brain it lives without body without armor save the brine pool it inhabits. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. To split one apart is a Githyanki's great pleasure. To die to its mind blast, a Githyanki's dread. Many would nigh lose their minds just to near one. Even, well, most would and have. Yeah. Very cool. I love that we got some cool lore there. So great. All right. Thanks, Lazel. I had another dream last night. 
the visitor came to me and ordered me to penetrate the heart of the very cult that's spreading the infection. It gave me a tadpole gift too. Just like it did the first time it appeared. I suppose it hoped this would help. At first, I thought we should avoid these gifts no matter what advantage we gain. And yet, I can't help recall the words of my father. The best plan is the one that works. These powers could be enough to edge us towards victory. Well, I'm surprised. We need these powers to infiltrate the cult. This is the plan that works. Very well. If it's mind games these parasites wish to play, we'll play. And we'll win. We will. I'd like you to join me. That's the spirit. Yeah. Okay, so Lazel's not leveled up, but we can we can figure that out whenever we have her in our party next. The pride of the gate. All right. Cool. What is our new class feature? Deepened packs. Okay, so we get a new spell. All right. Okay. Get another invocation. God, I don't even remember the other ones. <laughs> All right, that's fine by me. We don't really need to replace anything that I'm aware of. All right, nice. We got our little party back together. No time to rest. We're all rested up. We chat with everyone. Uh oh, what is this? Oh, I still have Leviathar's love. Pain is the path to clarity. When you have 30% hit points or less. Oh, you gain a plus two to attack rolls and wisdom saving throws for three turns. Very cool. Our time in the Underdark. Bell's time in Menzo Branson, I should clarify. I did not expect it to prepare her for BDSM priest. I That just wasn't on, I don't know, my bucket list. Or even something that would come to mind. I hope that each and every one of you has a wonderful rest of your day or night. Whatever time it is, wherever you are. And I will see you next time. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you so much for loving this journey as much as I do. And for being so kind and sweet and encouraging me in big fights. And generally enjoying the experience. Because I know I am. I love getting to tell you all about Belle's lore. And that really means the world to me that y'all are even interested in hearing about it. So thank you for that. That means a lot to me. Thanks for watching. For more content, you can check out these videos or my stream on Twitch or my reaction content on TikTok. All the links are in the description. Have a great rest of your day.